um, this is a rotary table. The main thing with the table is um, that once you've got your centre of your piece that you're trying to um, engrave into, that, that centre line has to actually go to the centre of the other end. Okay. When you plug it in, the leads will come off there, go through here, and down the bottom there, plug into the board where your Y coordinates would normally go, which is the setup going down the table, it now rotates. Now, when we turn it on, is on. So the problem we're going to have is when you turn it on it's going to look for a zero. Okay. It's a zero there, this is looking for a zero, that's it too. So it's not hitting zero here. So the easiest is just to touch the, touch the stopper. And it runs again, there it goes again, touch the stopper again. And that now tripped it into thinking it's on the table. Now I've set that at 150 millimeters so it's coming up to there. Now and then go into your, your engraving mode and get moved down the other end and make sure that the dot is in the centre down this other end. And then you're ready to engrave. Okay, we've opened in the engraving window. Down the bottom here we have ticked a rotary fixture, which is what this is. Now the diameter of our rollers are 28 millimetres. So we've set the diameter at 28 millimetres, gone OK. And now we're using the rotary fixture. So when we start, it's going to be running at 250 millimeters a second, and it's going to be running and rotating instead of going down the page. There we go. Now one of the tricks in this is make sure that your item that you are putting in the rotator is very deep into the um, roller. So it's really falling through the rollers so that you've got a large area sitting on the rollers. If you sit up high there won't be enough weight, there won't be enough drive and the thing will just slip and carry. So see how deep that is down there? Right down, it's nearly actually nearly falling through the rollers. It's right down as deep as it can go. It's got plenty of drive on the side and that ends up how you end up with it. And it's best. This time we're just going to try marking. I've dropped it back to 10 to try not to get it going too fast and the power is back to 10%. Let's just see where it goes. Okay, a bit of refinement to the um, rotary table. I've now made up which, to go into the into my onto my honeycomb tray, three millimetre MDF square with a cutout so that the um, rotary table, the metal part, sits straight into it. Pull out the rotary table, so that locates it in that plane. So it's always going to be in the same spot. So if you're doing multiple things, that's actually offset on the in, in the um, when you start to engrave. Brings it out, say 125 mils, and it lines up there in the same spot all the time. To make sure nothing moves, I've made up this little clamp, which is a clamp onto the top rail of your um, rubber belt, and holds that head nice and firm. So that head can't move that head now. It's all nice and solid in there. So you can use this sort of repeat it and set up. And um, this is a smaller piece of dowel, and um, it seems to work very well on engraving. But as I said, this marking. There is a few issues with it going back with the forwards and then because it come under and just uh, you know, raising it only goes down one pick at a time and it seems to do that quite well. 
As you see again though, the dowel is very deep, nearly, nearly ready to fall through the crack. So it's nice and solidly uh, mounted in there and it's um, getting plenty of surface area for us to drive on. This one's been done at uh, 20, 20 cent power at 250 millimetres per second and the diameter of the, of the um, rollers is 28 millimetres. That's it. Beautiful.